that's what they just say. Riding down 17, how about say my ride there? Hey y'all, hey, this is Monica Sumter, also known as Moji Sue. Okay, how you doing today? I'm good, how you doing? I'm doing great, doing great. So, um, we got you here today, so you have two books that you wrote. Um, can you tell us the name of those two books? Um, Dreams Really Do Come True, and the sequel is Truly Yours. Okay, and how long have you been the author? Well, I guess all my life, but I just started doing it professionally in 2015 when I published my first book. Okay, and the name of that first book was? Dreams Really Do Come True is the first one. Okay, and can you tell us just a little bit about that book? Um, yes. Basically, it's the typical bad boy, good girl situation, but where it gets off of being so typical is the situations surrounding them coming together. Basically, you know, like I said, she's a good girl and she's single, getting up in age, don't have any kids, but have a good job. So she's worried that she's never gonna meet Mr. Right. And Mr. Right ends up being completely wrong, completely the opposite of who she thought she would end up with, but it ends up working out. Okay, and what inspired you to write the book? Well, I always tell everybody that I didn't write the book, kind of chose me, and I had no choice because it was a dream turned into a daydream, turned into just something in my head, morning, noon, and night, so I really had no choice but to go ahead and put it down on paper. Okay, and how about Truly Yours? This is your second book? Yes, that's the second book. Now, I did decide to write that one. Everyone was just asking what was going on with the characters. They were like, you can't just leave it right there. So, And I kind of missed them, too. I wanted to find out more about them and know what was going on. So I did decide to go ahead and give the readers what they wanted. And that was the sequel. Okay, so this is the sequel to the first book. First, excuse me, first book, Dreams Really Do Come True. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any more uh, other books that you're thinking about writing in the future? Well, actually, I am about to start writing the third one. So just to, you know, go ahead and tie it on up in a pretty little bow, I'll give them a third one as well. But that's going to be the very last one. So. Okay. So anybody else that's, let's say, someone that wants to write a book or... Um, who has who plan on writing or who just likes to write and they might might want to put in like a book format what, what, what kind of tips would you give them as far as writing and getting a book published um definitely want a foundation if you don't get that foundation you will be all over the place you'll have the notes all over the place and they won't fit together so put it in order how you want things to flow and then fill in the pieces that's the easiest way to do it that was the easiest way for me to do it um reaching out to other authors is kind of tough i ran into a lot of roadblocks that way but reaching out to each other i think that now over the course of the last couple of years, a lot of authors have come out and we're eager to help each other because there's more than enough readers out there for everyone. So reach out to other authors if you get stuck and get some help. Okay. And uh, is there anyone that out there that help you? <laughs> well, actually, yes. I reached out to Zane and she told me what to do and I got fearful and went another route. And it cost me a lot of money, so I was like, you know what, let me go back and revisit what I already started. And that's what I did, and that's how I self-published my first book, um, to the point where I was able to just go ahead and, you know, publish the self-publish the second one as well. And I plan on doing that with all of my books. Okay. And uh, can you tell everybody where you're from? 
Yes, I'm born and raised from New South Carolina. I went to Eau Claire High School. Um, and I'm still here. And this will always be home to me. The same house I go to every day is the same house that my parents brought me home from the hospital. So I love South Carolina. I love Columbia. Um, I do wish that Columbia would get on board with more support when it comes to local talent. Um, get out, support the kids, support the authors and the musicians because Columbia has so much talent, but a lot of it is falling by the wayside because of lack of support. Support goes a long way. It doesn't have to, you know, cost a lot. You can put support in anybody and it will really go a long way. Okay. And as far as book clubs, do you belong to any book clubs, any type of groups? I actually don't, um, but the reason being is that I'm trying to start like a women's group. I go across the country doing different gatherings, just getting with like-minded women together. Um, we talk about some of everything. My books, of course, are romance novels, so of course we talk about romance. Um, I have some vendors that actually travel around with me, and we have like the bedroom candy vendor. She, that's always so much fun. We eat, we talk. Um, I want to get it to be where I don't have to be present for women to start coming together at these gatherings and it doesn't have to be you know this week that week or this month that month read a book it could be some of everything but definitely a book of choice from month to month will be something that i want to incorporate with that okay so if someone wants to get in contact with you how can they get in contact with you um i'm on facebook monica emoji sue sumter a lot of people like emoji what but it's m-o-g-e-s-u and I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Amazon, all under Moji Sue. If you type it in, I am sure it's to come up. And they can find your books at Amazon also? Yes, Amazon.com forward slash author forward slash Moji Sue. Okay, do you keep any hard copies for sale with you? I do, I do. And for my Columbia people or people who reach out to me that want to get a copy personally, it does come personally all um yeah. It does come personalized by me, autographed, and we can take a quick selfie together. Okay. All right. And you got anything else you want to say? Um, no, just be encouraged. Encourage each other. There's more than enough fame, fortune, and time for all of us to get some. So there's no need to hate on the next one. Definitely want to congratulate each other. Is the first one. This is Dreams Really Do Come True. It did not look like this in the beginning because of, like I said, the situation that I ran into. The information that I got from Zane, I didn't follow what she told me to do. So I ended up publishing a book through someone else. And um, it, it turned out beautiful, but because of financial situations, I ended up having to completely redo it and self-publishing and I think this one is much more beautiful than the first one and then because of my wonderful readers, Truly Yours came next and I orchestrated these covers with my sister and they're beautiful. So those are the books. Dreams really do come true, and the sequel truly yours. Okay. Thank you for coming through and um, talking with us. You're welcome anytime. Hopefully, we can catch that third book. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> Tough guy, why try? Catch me in your side. Write it down, 17. How about that, my